If you like the lessons on this channel and would like to support the channel, please consider a donation or heading over to the download store. See the links in the description. Thanks for watching. Okay, so let's begin. So uh, the focus here is on the Phrygian mode, of course. It's very close to the natural minor scale of the Phrygian scale, except for the fact that the second interval is flattened. So just to give you an idea of that, we start in the seventh position on the fifth string. So we have But for the Phrygian, that second degree there, that F sharp note becomes an F note. And that is known as the minor second interval because it's just one semitone away from the root note. Okay, so the octave is on the fifth and the third string. That's in the seventh position. And we're going to pick the low sixth string first, then play through the octave. Then place the middle at fret eight on fifth string. So note that the third finger is not moving. And keep all this down as much as possible to encourage the ringing out of all the notes. Low sixth string again, and then fret 10 on the fifth. Note the picking pattern, two downs and an up. I mean, the last two you could do is two downs or down up, doesn't really matter too much. In fact, I take a few liberties here with a lot of the picking. So after that bar, then uh, we're going to pick through what our two fingers are doing. That's ninth on third, tenth on fifth. Then pick string one back into the third and fifth string, and then back to the third string. So the first two bars will sound like this. Let's do it a bit slower. So bar three is the same as bar one. So we'll come back to that when we look at the next bar and do the playthrough. In the fourth bar, we're going to pick third and fifth string from the shape of the third and the fourth finger, ninth fret third, tenth fret fifth. So that's the, the same three notes as we started on bar two with, because we're doing the same thing essentially. Uh, and then the fourth note is the same too, but the end is different. We're going to slide up into the 12th position. So we're going to go from 9th to 14th fret. Then we're going to pick 12th on 2nd, 1st string open, back to 12th fret 2nd. So this is bar 4. Let's have a look at bars three and four now.
So from this point then we're going to move up into another octave and our uh, root note here is at the 14th fret. It's the octave of the low root. And our minor seconds at the 15th fret. So it's important when using the Phrygian scale that you emphasize that minor second interval because basically that's the only difference there is between that and uh, the natural minor scale. So it helps to bring out that eastern dark sort of uh, brooding type of sound. So we're going to pick low six, pick the fourth string at the 14th fret, hammer to 15. Note that they're two 16th notes. And then we've got 16 and 14 on the third string. And it's 15 on fourth, 14 to 15 on the fourth. Using hammer-ons here helps to create a smoother sound and transition between the notes. I'm going to start out the same way in bar six, but then we're going to play 17 and 16 back to 17 on the third string. Before finishing with a slur from the 14th to the 15th, that'll be a hammer on slur, and then 14th on the fourth. So bar six. So let's have a listen to bars five and six. So bar seven is the same as bar five. Yep. And then bar eight is going to be a nice variation just to lead into the next part. So for the eighth bar, then we've got low six. Then we've got 17 and 15 on the second string. Note that I'm using pinky middle because we've got a note at fret 14. So that places us in the, the box position, 14 to 17. And so it's 17, 15 second string. 17, 16, 14, third string, back to 16, 17 on the third. A lot of the time there I like using all upstrokes, I just like the sound of it. And then uh, in the tenth bar then, we're going to go from the same three notes to begin with and then vary it up with some high notes. So we've got 17, 15 on the sec on the first string, back to 17th on the first, and then 15, 17 on the second. So let's play through bars seven to 10. Okay, so let's finish up with uh, bars 11 through to the 13th where we finish on the power chord. So we're going to use the open 6, 12 hammering to 13 and 12 on the first string, 15 on second. Mm -hmm. 
Note that we've got the root and the minus second interval here. Just like we did here. And here. And of course you can do it down the open position. I call that the Jaws interval. So uh, let's have a listen to bar 11. And basically we're just going to do the same thing in the lower octave here than what's... Notice it's the same notes, just lower in pitch. Before ending on the power chord. So let's play through that a couple of times, 11 to the end. Mm -hmm. 